today's story really or the story at the moment is that from monday the quarantining in hotels is going to apply to people returning to the uk from uh, you know listed countries um, and that will come at a cost of uh, 1750 pounds and if you're found lying about where you've come from um, then th th you could be fined uh, 10,000 pounds or face 10 years in jail. I just need to ask you, how enforceable is that? Is that in legislation? Because, you know, I have heard about fines, for example, that have been given out by police, which potentially are not enforceable in court. Um, <clears throat> well, first to point out, that only applies, to th as you said, to a listed countries, 33 countries. And I think the only one that most of us are likely to visit. Only European country is Portugal on that list. So if you do travel to France or Spain or whatever, which obviously you're not supposed to at the moment anyway because of uh, our own restrictions here, then you've got to just quarantine at home for 10 days or five days if you take a test, if you pay for a private test. So it's not draconian right across um, the piece. But nevertheless, there's a real worry about the South African strain. I think our worries are probably less than they were maybe two or three weeks ago, but nevertheless, we need to be vigilant. Um, so I do support very, I've, always, I've called a lot, uh, I've often made the case for more strict restrictions. And if we're going to have restrictions, you might as well really clamp down on this. And, you know, real deterrence against people not complying. And that's in terms of supervision as well as, Fine. So I, I don't have a problem with a, with a fine or even putting people in jail. These are maximum sentences, don't forget. But nevertheless... Um, but are uh, they enforceable? And there's a good point. I will come to it. It's, um, and, and as I understand it, we'll need legislation. Um, it's yet to be seen what vehicle the Secretary of State or the Prime Minister will use to implement those changes. Maybe we'll get, that will be re revealed today, but um, I'm not clear on what those mechanisms will be. But um, of course, they should be legally enforceable before they're implemented.